Hello, good evening, people. Welcome to our channel. And today, this video is all about XML uh, components in Talent. So, before starting with the XML component, let's learn about something XML basic property. So, you can see this is XML file, uh, file and append, uh, like extension with XML. It is uh, XML and HTML. Uh, both are the markup languages. The difference between both the languages is like HTML is uh, to display your data and XML is to store your data, okay? Where HTML have all predefined tags and in XML, we create our own tag. We can say that user-defined tags, okay? So, yeah. Okay, first line you can see in the file, this is known as the XML prologue. Okay, this comes as a by default. Uh, it is optional, okay, not mandatory. So, yeah, we can ignore this thing. Before starting with the XML these, uh, explanation, let me tell you, explanation, uh, the, ex the XML file depends on tree structure, like uh, root and child relation, you can say that. So one is parent element, we can say it's a root element and all uh, below its uh, element come as a child element. For example, if we take library, library is my root element. And li in library, we have various kinds of books, like categories, uh, we have various categories. So they will be like child uh, elements. Okay, other example, you can say that in colleges, college is my root element. And in college, we have multiple departments they can act as a child element. So basically a relationship like a parent to child. Okay. We have a one root tag. Root tag is like my initial and ending of this file of your any XML file. So in this, my root is my uh, root tag. Okay. It can have anything is like I gave you example for library. So it can be library. You see at the end of file, we have a closing root tag. So this is mandatory. And now this is new tag, okay? <clears throat> this is my row tag. Row tag means the tags which in between which are record uh, present, okay? So this is my row tag. And uh, this is my first row. Uh, between these two tags, whatever we have, that is my first record containing columns. Okay, the tag, it displays like it is opening tag and this is closing tag. So it will display my column tags. Okay, uh, this first name and last name. I have two columns in this file and with two columns, I have multiple records. So this new tag is my row tag that yes, your first record got started, get started from here. And the first tag it will uh, read, it will treat as, as a column and it, uh, it, it is closed with the same name. Similarly, it will read next line. It will treat as second column and again the close tag. Now it saw that yes, new is with close tag. So yeah, my first record got ended. Now again, it read new. So it's an opening tag. So next thing it will count as a record two with both the columns. Similarly, uh, on every an opening uh, new tag, it will uh, count as a new record. Okay, so number of record, uh, it uh, get to know with the help of uh, this row tag. So I hope this is clear to you. Okay, so let's get started with our talent component. First, we'll be create a metadata in uh, uh, XML metadata. We have a file XML, uh, okay, option here. So you can create file XML, name anything like <clears throat> XML uh, demo. Okay, you want to create input or output, totally depends on you. Now my file, path file. So this is my uh, path file. As I chose a file path, okay, it automatically uh, showed me that, yeah, what is schema this file has. Okay, it has a root, a root tag and this is my row tag. And in, in, in this row tag, I have two columns. Okay, so this is the power of tools. And this is encoding language, totally depends on you. This is limit, like the number of record which you want to extract from this file. Suppose it have lakhs of record, but you want only 100 records. So it will fetch you your starting 100 records, okay? It, it will not extract randomly 100. It will extract the starting 100 records. Now, 
very important this is target schema this part is very important please listen carefully this is my absolute x path absolute x path is for defining your row tag like okay my file starting with which one uh, which is my root tag and which is my row tag so this is my initial tag okay and this is my new tag this is row tag okay as it read new with the starting and opening tag it will count as iteration first again it will search new tag with opening tag it will start counting as a, as a second iteration like i already told you for counting new records okay to know yeah we have started new records uh, reading now this is file x path fields x path this is for your uh, schema uh, you can see that for uh, identifying your records and this this is for your column that okay uh, okay let me do this. okay in file uh, your columns present in which tag this is for that it will just uh, it will start studying your xml file and in new tag you define that yes uh, when you read new uh, with opening tag it will be a new record so it it, uh, it just went into into the next line and if you don't provide that yes my first column start with this 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 tag then it will not identify my columns so this is for displaying or for just telling a, a tool that yes this is my column name or column tag which i provided in my file okay i hope both the uh, thing clear because they are very important in xml components and you can see this option loop uh, this is loop limit like how many number of record you want to extract how many number of time you want to run your loop loop like for every new records so this is my first loop this is my second loop this is my third loop this means loop okay on clicking refresh preview you will be able to see how your data is displaying uh, okay so yeah my two columns and with their data okay so i hope your uh, concepts are very clear to you till now okay what's working slow so basically uh, xml is also similar to other component but only you need to uh, understand here is this x path if you provide correct x path then your uh, data will be fetched correctly if there is any mistake in x path then your data will not be fetched correctly like this is very case sensitive also i will show you how okay with negative scenario also uh, let me just cancel it it is taking long much time so be careful while working with x uh, xml as it is case sensitive so you can see here that preview successful and this is the data of my file and clicking finish your metadata creation will be done so this is my file uh, when you will right click on it you will be able to modify uh, for the next time like path columns anything you want to modify so yeah metadata done now let's just start with the input components i already created a test job okay so we have uh, only few component regarding xml xml like one is input component one is output component one is for mapping one is for extracting fields so we will be seeing this in before studying this uh, first we will learn about the t file input xml component this component as you can see then that there is a name in uh, input so that means it is for extracting the xml files from your system from or any other location in your uh, lo uh, local system all right so first we need to add the schema that means we need to add the column uh, in file we have only two columns so similarly we need to add here two columns name doesn't matter you know why i already told you in my previous videos now next i will be selecting file which i need to extract file selected now this is loop x path loop x path you know i already told you like this is for uh, iterating like how 
uh, when to iterate second time, when to iterate third time. Okay, this is the, the path will help the tool to uh, to identify. Okay, so I told yeah I told him this is my main element. This is, the root is my main element, and this new one is my row tag. Like whenever you find a new tag, that means it contains record. Okay, so yeah, this is done. Now, uh, this the, the this X path is for your identifying the uh, rows, but this this X path is for identifying your column name. So please be careful about here. This is very case sensitive. We, you need to provide same column name uh, which you provided in your XML file. Like this is my column name. I used as a tag here in this file. So I will provide the same. If you uh, mistakenly typed any wrong uh, spelling or uppercase, lowercase mistake, then it will uh, not fetch your data correctly. Okay. Uh, let me show you. First, I will, with, I will just provide correct uh, tag name. Okay, so this X path will help the tool to identify column name. Okay, the, this name where present in the file that will treat it as the column one and column two. Okay, now this is limit. You want to set limit or not? I'm not setting. So till now, everything seems good. I will just print the data in console. So basically, working for working with XML file, you just need to understand X path for even your for main path uh, for just uh, identifying the rows and for your columns also. So yeah, my data got extracted correctly. How you can add and identify whether data corrected or not? Just can compare that. Okay. Now, uh, just uh, what I told you that it's a case sensitive. Like uh, instead of capital N, I just type small n. Okay. Now I will just run the job. You will see that the in second column, I will not be getting any data. It will treat it as none because with the same name, it will search into my XML file with a small n. So it will not be able to find anything like that in my file. So uh, it will consider it as a none columns. You see, this is very case sensitive. So I hope this is very clear. Input, uh, input one. Okay, now uh, if you see my uh, T file output to XML file, this is a very simple file. If you want to just uh, check, um, okay, this file name you want to provide, uh, I will just copy paste here. Mm -hmm. Okay, with this name, this is my XML file. And this is my row tag. Row tag, what I what does it mean? Uh, just uh, let this run with this. Uh, I will show you. Row tag, uh, same thing. Like which tag will help us to know that yes, it's a new record or it's a new iteration. Okay, let's just go at the same location. Okay, you see, we have two XML uh, document. And uh, if I open this, I will show you. See, this is root, okay, uh, root element. But instead of new, it is treated as row. Okay, so whatever you provide uh, the value in this row tag column or row tag field, that will display your row tag. Okay, row tag basically for identifying number of records. Okay, if you just check work this column name, column list, uh, it will treat as a document. Document, I hope you understand. You can try with this option. So yeah, working with metadata, working with input file, input components with output comp component must be clear to you. Now I will be just telling you the last component for this XML. That is your T extract XML field. Uh, I have a just a question for you if you are interested. What is the difference between T extract XML field and uh, T file input XML field? Okay, I will show you the working, the purpose of these components are similar to extract data. Uh, just if you know any difference uh, that uh, between these two components, please comment. Okay, 
so i have chosen a t file input delimited component but i selected here uh, xml file you can see that result dot xml file i had removed all the argument all the uh, inputs from every uh, parameters like row separator nothing field separator nothing header as a zero as in this t extract and as in column i have used only one column which is three, only single column you need to provide because we uh, just uh, using this component to pass my file data and in this component you see that the, uh, in my uh, file i have two columns so we need to create two columns here name can be anything doesn't matter you know why here you need to provide same your iteration path okay x path and here your column tag names okay so it will be your column x path query Similar, similarly which we work with t file input uh, component of xml similar thing here also limitation and that's it if if i print a data using this what will happen it will display same data or kind of anything there will be any difference see everything same so why we use uh, why there are two component for same purpose you know it you can comment so uh, okay yeah and there is one more component that we have as our t xml map so it is only, it is totally similar to um, t map component we will be learning this compo component in further videos because this is uh, the most important component of talent because it totally transforms your data it handles your multiple data uh, files so we'll be uh, discussing in detail in future okay i hope till now you everything is very clear, crystal clear and if you have any doubt please comment below and do let me know i will try my level best to uh, clear your doubt as soon as possible thank you for watching this video and wishing you a happy learning bye bye